Hello, and welcome to the Vision Systems Design Tech Summit Quick Chat with Sensopart. My name is Dennis Semeca, Associate Editor at Vision Systems Design. Today, I'll be speaking with Alexander Resch, Product Manager at Sensopart. A full bio for Alexander can be found by clicking on the speaker's name below the video. Alexander, thank you for joining me today. Thank you very much for having me. I'm very pleased to be here. Alexander, what defines Sensopart's target mark 3D technology? How is it different from other 3D technologies in the marketplace? I would define it as um, being a 3D localization technology that combines process robustness with mobility. Uh, it gives both expert and novice customers the capability to automate manual tasks such as pick and place and machine tending applications using cobots and industrial robots under consideration of highly accurate vision data. It also adds a layer of flexibility and robustness to possibly already partially automated processes while practically requiring almost no setup or reconfiguration time. What sets it apart from other 3D technologies is that it is, uh, from a technological point of view, in fact, a 2D system, giving the user true 3D orientation capabilities for a number of uh, automation situations, situations where uh, full-fledged 3D systems may be too complicated to set up, too bulky, or simply too expensive. What are the origins of target mark technology? Um, another way to put it, what was the problem that traditional 3D technologies mm -hmm. couldn't effectively solve? Yes, yeah, so we have, we have been looking at past and current machine tending uh, and workplace automation solutions. And what we found was that they all came with one or another major drawback. Consider the typical scenario of a robot being mechanically fixed to a milling machine. There's practically no flexibility in process and robot usage. This in turn leads to a direct dependency between industrialization costs and machine park size, as there is a one-to-one -one relationship between the number of machines and robots. Users can address this problem by mounting robots on autonomous vehicles or carts. These vehicles can approach machines automatically or manually, typically docking themselves to the machine and starting the tending process. These can, however, suffer from relatively poor positioning accuracy, especially in time-critical applications where uh, repositioning of the AGV or cart is off the table. Uh, and we all know that accuracy is paramount in machine tending applications. So this poses uh, an unfortunate trade-off between accuracy and cost efficiency, as the most efficient process is worthless if it simply fails. So we started looking at all these different drawbacks and asked ourselves how we can find a solution that solves accuracy and cost efficiency issues for a broad range of customers and applications. And what we found was that if we let the vision system do all the heavy lifting, uh, for example, referencing of the machine, calculation of transformations for frame shifts and communication in robot coordinates, we could solve all these problems together. This was when the target mark three technology, a combination of special mechanical marks and our vision sensor, the Visor Robotic, was born. We've created these little mechanical target marks. So you can see them here, which basically consist of a highly reflective pattern uh, printed onto a black background. You can simply attach one of those marks to your machine, mount the robot on a mobile platform, and write your robot program just the way you'd usually do, and refer to the target mark within one line of code inside your program. This creates a unique reference between mechanical mark and robot. You can move and try. <clears throat> you can move and uh, try to return the robot or the cart to the very same location. And every repositioning will lead to a positional offset that is practically always non-zero. But as long as it's positioned roughly in the vicinity of the initially programmed working position and the target mark is in the camera's field of view, you're good to go. The geometry of the mark is known by the visor, which in turn can calculate the resulting 3D offset by comparing the actual and the initial projection of the target mark. A simple frame shift by exactly this offset inside the robot program leads to a shift of all waypoints that have been taught with respect to this mark. So with one line of code, your process therefore becomes far more stable 
as uh, deviations are taken into account and directly corrected in process. Finally, we wanted our users to be able to scale with increasing numbers of machines. So within each pattern, there's a codified identifier that's accessible in the robot program. You can just create a single reusable code block for a single machine and reuse this block for an arbitrary number of other machines. Simply create a case or if statement or whatever flow control structure or data structure seems best fit for your robot. And check which unique identifier is returned by the camera. Jump to the corresponding program part and continue with the process. So summing up and regarding the question about what problem traditional 3D technologies couldn't solve effectively, I would say there was one single, um, I, I wouldn't say there was one single problem we were trying to solve. Looking at different solutions, we found that all were suffering from one or another major drawback. And we found that all traditional somewhat comparable 3D technologies were either too inaccurate, too pricey, too bulky, or platform dependent. The target mark technology combines the solution to all of those problems, achieving sub-millimeter accuracy, a fantastically easy setup really with just a few clicks, all while being fully into the integrated into the visor software framework with uh, interfacing capabilities and function blocks for a large number of robot manufacturers. So even if target mark technology wasn't designed to solve uh, specific problems other technologies couldn't solve, can you still tell us in what specific industrial fields and in what applications within those fields you think target mark technology is most appropriate for? Mm -hmm. So definitely fully industrialized settings, like for example, machining centers and facilities with large, huge numbers of uh, CNC milling machines come to mind when thinking about areas of applications. So this is the machine tending uh, frame basically, but also basically anywhere where humans are still manually handling materials. These surely can be machine tending and material handling scenarios, but also for example, general pick and place, sorting and assembly tasks for which materials are delivered in trace and of course, um, under positional variation, manually positioned in front of robots. You can simply attach mechanical target marks to your trace and teach pick and place coordinates with respect to these marks. Not only are uh, all robot waypoints shifted according to the variational offset, making the process quite robust, but the robot can differentiate between different tray and part settings according to unique ID codified into this 2D pattern. All of this applies to, for example, electronics assembly and handling, uh, milling facilities, like I already noted, machining uh, factories, intralogistics, you can imagine uh, foundries and labs for electronics manufacturing uh, with AGVs and industrial robots, and of course, many, many, many more like life sciences, uh, lab automation, you can imagine. And so, it, within all of these, these industrial branches and, 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 and fields, we want to address expert users and corporations that are driven by, for example, a financial efficiency or eco-friendliness rationale. Uh, for example, the ones looking to reduce the number of robots they are using for maintainability reasons, as well as uh, novice users that want to make their first steps and get started with collaborative robots for pick and place and material handling applications. What are the largest benefits a business can expect from deploying target mark technology? A definitive benefit would be uh, the tremendous reduction of total cost of ownership through maintainable and reusable code and fewer robots uh, for the same amount of machines. Huge benefits are both the increased process output as for example, AGVs and cobots can work round the clock and the low cost entry into workplace automation, all while requiring practically no expert knowledge. All these factors ultimately lead to higher profitability. So I'd say that a long-term benefit is the autonomy to scale easily also, while staying platform independent. That really speaks for the target mark 3D technology and the visor. You can simply add new machines to 10.2 or automate manual tasks by introducing new marks to your environment and reference them in your robot program. My last point would be more of a human and less of a business type perspective towards work. At Sense Apart, we, we strongly believe that every business should be able to benefit from the possibilities offered 
by the combination of vision sensors and robotics. We want people from all industrial fields and branches from small and medium-sized enterprises to large corporations uh, to be able to focus on what's really important to them. Freeing them to do more creative, more meaningful work will result in higher satisfaction and happier people. And I personally believe that this should be the driving factor for all of our work, honestly. That's our last question for today. Uh, Alexander, I want to thank you very much for your time today. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, just a reminder for the audience that today's session will be available here within the 2021 Vision Systems Design Tech Summit platform for the next 30 days. And on behalf of Vision Systems Design and our sponsor, Senso Part, we would like to thank you for joining us today.